I'm going to ask you all to interact with me today because the reason you're here is because you want something, okay? And what I'd like to do is I'd like to work out exactly what it is that you want. And if I can work out what you want this morning, I'm pretty good at showing you how to get it. That's what I do. No matter what you do or who you are, you're in sales, okay? When you go to a job interview, what are you selling? Yourself. Yourself. OK, when you are selling a product, what are you selling? The product. When you're selling a service, what are you selling? The service. When you're setting up your own business, what are you selling? Your product and your service and yourself. Okay. So the secret of sales success, OK, is one simple question. And this is the thing that you really need to take away with you today. Every time you have to sell something, there's somebody sitting across from you and they have one question in their head. And if you can answer that question, you can have anything you want. Here's the question. What's in this for me? When you're selling something, you have to understand that the person on the other side is sitting there and he's going, yeah, well, if you can tell me that there's something in this for me, I'll give you what you want. Very simple. If you can prove to the other person that actually there's value in the sale for them, they will automatically and instinctively want to do business with you. And if you can answer that question, you can guarantee a sale. Know your goal, OK? So everybody needs to know, what's my destination? What's my goal? What do I want? Once you know what you want, OK, then you remember a positive approach. Nobody wants to sit in an interaction with somebody who's being negative. Positive is actually creating an overview of yourself that is positive. Because nobody wants to be in an in interaction with somebody that they think they might have problems with later on. Be specific. What's the word? Be specific. Specific. If you're specific, then each time you're hitting the nail on the head. So you're answering the question, what's in, in this for me, specifically for the person sitting in front of you. Unique selling point. Everybody has them. If you're going for a job interview, it usually comes down to experience. And what a unique selling point is, wh what makes me different? You know, what's unique about me that has a positive overview for you and is specific to the job in question? OK, so a unique selling point is filled with positives, but it what, it's what makes you special or what makes your service special or what makes your product special. Then you get on to brand links. Now, brand links are very, very, very important, OK? And in a minute, I'm going to sort of go through my USPs and my brand links for you here this morning. But if you have a brand link, for example, let's say you are selling cosmetics, OK? I was doing a course in Dublin last week and we had quite a lot of people who were sort of um, doing Avon and doing other types of cosmetics um, uh, products. And they said, well, what's a brand link for us? And you, it, it is simply this, OK? When you're selling the product, you say, you see this? This is fantastic. It is as good as L'Oreal, Shiseido, Clinique, any of those. So it's putting a brand out there that people know.